The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You will also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. All right, welcome to another episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be covering the concept of namespacing our controllers. So why would we want to namespace our controllers? Well, in an application, a Rails application, when your application is growing, where you have you know, multiple kinds of functionalities and you know, all kinds of things going on, your application can grow into a code base where it's very difficult to maintain. So I know I understand that even our though our application is small, um, you know it's very simple right now. It's just a blog uh, application. Uh, it makes it easier for us to understand the concept of namespacing. So uh, we're gonna start by namespacing our user authentication, um, you know, module. So basically, namespace allows us to separate our controllers into different modules, so we can group together controllers that are related to one another. So for example, in this case, we have a user authentication system, and we're going to put all the user authentication controller stuff into one module. So um, you know, this helps us clean up our code base and makes things much, much easier to manage. Let's get started. All right, so let's first analyze what we have over here. We know that the session controller is related to uh, user authentication. The confirmations controller is also related to um, you know, user authentication. Uh, and the user uh, creation itself, uh, you know, the user controller itself is related to the user authentication uh, stuff. So what we can do is we can put these three uh, these three controllers we just talked about, the confirmation, the session, and the user controller in its own little module. So what do we do? Well, in the controllers folder, all we have to do is create a new folder. I'm going to call it um, auth. Uh, so we can come up with a fancy name as well, but I think auth you know, is the most simple uh, name for our module. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these uh, up in the finder over here. And I'm just going to move them into the auth folder here. Now, what happens when you move uh, controllers into the folder is all you have to do is start, um, you know, adding namespaces. So just to do that is very easy. We can just do uh, auth just like that. Auth. There we go. So this separates it into its own little group. Uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to um, you know create a base controller in our module. So base controller dot rb, and then here we're going to create class auth base controller, and this controller is going to inherit from our application controller, and we're going to close that out just like that. So what we can do here is we can add all kinds of things in here that we want to inherit to all of our other controllers over here. Uh, so for example, now we're not going to inherit the confirmation controller from the application controller anymore. We're going to inherit it all from auth. So auth base controller. So now we have another layer, uh, you know, from our application controller. We can app separate our so. The way I think about applications is you'll have some parts that are, you know, your front facing where it front faces the customer or your, uh, your, you know, whatever, who, who, the reader. Uh, and maybe you want to have certain level of control just for that part. And the authentication part is going to have its own layer of control. And so we can do all of that stuff specific to the authentication in our base control that we want to inherit to all the controls in the auth module. So I'm just going to copy this over here, and I'm going to have it uh, inherit like this. All right, so now we have our module, and we have this base controller, which acts like the application controller, um, but now we have another extra layer of control. Right now, we're going to keep it empty, but as we work on the app, you will see uh, you know, us adding more and more features to the base controller of the auth module over here. All right, so the next thing we're going to need to do is in our uh, routes over here, uh, we are going to need to uh, you know, use uh, you know, the login path. We need to add the auth 
sessions new, auth sessions destroy, auth users new, just like that. Um, so now, uh, you know, for the session, for the user session, we also need to modularize all this stuff. So what we can do is uh, we can use um, namespace. So for our confirmation as well. So all these three controllers are going to go under their own namespace. Auth do. End. All right, so um, let's actually take a look at the application. Uh, so the session controller is now okay. Uh, we can close this out. So we have sessions, we have confirmation, we have user. So let's take a look at what we have now. It's probably broken uh, our authentication system now. Uh, so as you can see, no routes match login. Um, so let's see why that is. So then I'm gonna head to the routes. So I misspelled namespace over here. So I'm gonna do a reload. All right, so it says now uh, the action new cannot be found auth session controller. So uh, once we move all the controllers into the auth module, we also need to make sure that we move the views into the auth module as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new folder here called auth. And this is going to represent our namespace. So what we need to do is gonna move all these folders. So I'm gonna move the, you know, all this stuff into the auth uh, folder. So uh, sessions go into the auth um, and uh, users go into the auth and confirmation also go into the auth. All right, so as you can see here, now we have the, you know, everything is in the auth, and so now our view should actually work. So if I head over here and I do a reload, uh, okay, it's gonna say that, you know, undefined local ver method of variable session path, that's because now the routes have been uh, namespaced as well. So if I head over into the console and I do a rake routes, you're going to see that, um, you know, it's all, it all needs to be prefixed with the auth, uh, word over here now because we've put it in the module. All right, so let's fix that. So I'm going to head over into the session new and I'm going to do auth session path just like that, do a reload, and there we go. Um, so yeah, so we need to do this for the other parts as well. Um, but this is the starting of our separation of concern. So basically, we are now putting all the authentication stuff in its own little module. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.